Thanks so much for being with us. Your time is 6.42. Well, from aerial acrobatics to Hispanic Arts Festival, there's plenty to do this weekend in the borderland. That's right. And Kimber Foster with Destination El Paso joins us to break down everything entertainment. Good morning, Kimber. Good morning, Christina and Robert. I'm back again to tell you what there is to do and see in the Sun City. And there are several amazing stage productions in town this weekend. Cirque du Soleil's Verakai will be performed at the Don Haskins Center on the UTEP campus through Sunday. If you're familiar with their shows, you know that they are not only masters at telling stories, but they tell them through gravity-defying acrobatic skill, music, and technical dance. This show is no different, and it takes place in a forest within a summit of a volcano in a world called Verakai, which also means wherever in the Romani language of the gypsies. This breathtaking production pays tribute to the nomadic soul, spirit, and art of the circus tradition, and to the infinite passion of those whose quest takes them along the path that leads to Verakai. You won't want to miss this inspiring show, so head on over to the UTEP Ticket Center or Ticketmaster.com for showtimes and ticket pricing. The Sigla de Oro Drama Festival celebrates its 40th season with nightly performances at the Chamazal National Memorial Theater and Cultural Complex. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday's theatrical troops are from Spain, Colombia, and Mexico City. And on Sunday night, the Orchestra of New Spain from Dallas, Texas, will perform Via y Corte, the music of Goya, Tonadias y Entre Meses. All performances take place at 7 p.m., and tickets are free and available on a first-come, first-served basis at the door, starting at 5.30 p.m. If you're a fan of Broadway, don't forget that tickets to the blockbuster show Wicked are currently on sale. Backed by popular demand, this prequel to The Wizard of Oz returns to the Plaza Theater from May 20th through 31st. Tickets can be purchased at Ticketmaster.com and at the Plaza Theater box office. For information on these events and many, many more, check out the El Paso Master Calendar on VisitElPaso.com and ElPasoLive.com. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you again next Thursday. Back to you, Christina and Robert. All right, thank you so much. And we want to tell you, Robert is still exploring El Paso, and he had an exciting opportunity to go somewhere yesterday. Where'd you go? That's right. I went to go see Veracai. Ah, we were nice. in the front row. Thanks so much to UTEP for the tickets. Now, it was such a beautiful show. These guys are so talented. Look at that. Three people on top of each other. I mean, I, I just can't believe how they even do that and how they get up into these formations. But obviously, it takes a lot of hard work and training and discipline. But the costumes are beautiful, the talent, the music. It was live music. The singers. I mean, everything was just so perfect. And in, we have opportunity to see this right here in our backyard. So this is really a great opportunity. There we are. There we are with one of our producers, Emily, and some of our friends watching the show. Um, really, I encourage anyone to get out there and see this show. It really is fantastic. Well, and it must have been breathtaking, but you had to have had a favorite part. You know, the acrobats were fun, but another of my favorite parts was they had this couple, this, this man, this woman, who did kind of like funny, like comic relief throughout. Uh -huh. I mean, it was a beautiful show, but then they had little spurts of comic relief, and I mean, they were hilarious. <laughs> so so that was, it was just a lot of fun. Overall, great experience. Take the family, take the kids. Take, it's really for anyone, so get out there. All right, get out there. We'll be right back.